Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on damage gameplay ability. So as you can see here, I can equip a sword and I can go here and attack. Now you see uh, the hit reaction is shown on all the actors that who get hit and it is properly replicated to all the instances of the game so here now uh, this I'm testing with the client these smaller screens are clients this is a server so if I now test with the server you see I can hit a client another client and both are reacting and also both the both animations of the reaction is properly replicated so yeah this is what we are going to work on today attack reactions and their replication using gameplay ability system before we get started i'd like to quickly remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel for the membership of patreon page once you become a member you can download anything with all the assets and everything without a limit for all the projects that i have done there are 1800 projects uh, tutorials to the date and for each tutorial tu uh, project file is accessible and let's get back to today's video okay so i have already imported this sword and shield uh attack recoil react animation so i'm going to use this as the reaction when a character gets hit so right now i can pick up a sword equip it and attack but as you can see no reaction is happens in the other character that gets hit so first thing is now let's create another ability gameplay gameplay ability blueprint select gameplay ability ga hit react let's call it like this hit react sword that's a better name okay now as for the ability tag let's i think we should define a new uh, tag under weapons sword no let's do it like this react dot sword yeah so this react uh, category would have all the reactions for swords great swords whatever arrows whatever the weapon types that we would have okay add new tag and select it as the ability tag and then so for now all i want is to play the reaction animation so from get avatar actor info and then from the avatar actor we can play montage replicated so here yeah. Now this play montage replicated is a function that we have already implemented in our character so basically it plays an animation montage and also it replicates it, uh, it over the network here this event so if you don't remember how I did that you can watch this video how to properly replicate animation montages uh, this video I did recently before this episode that we are doing today so yeah now here we need an animation montage using this animation so let me create an animation montage with this create an montage and I'll leave it on the default slot for now and here we can play it and then and ability 
maybe we should leave like 0.5 seconds delay here just in case we need a time frame that this ability is active okay now uh, where do we activate this ability so for that I'll go to GA light attack sort so this is where we do the attacking and I think here after we play in the montage replicated let me add a sequence here and then let's have a delay of uh, let's say 0.2 seconds or maybe 0.4 seconds because I want let me check the animation hit animation first so here around this time which would be 0.3 seconds yeah so that's the time that I want other characters who is in the range that get hit to show the hit reaction so here now how do we get nearby actors well I'll add a function get nearby actors so here let's do something like this let's do a um, multi sphere trace for objects so now what i'm going to plan to do is i'm going to do a multi sphere trace for objects and determine the objects within this trace region so to do that let's first get our actor info and let's go with the actor location we i don't want to consider the weapons location for now because i'm only focused on getting some kind of a reaction on the enemies so okay back to, okay and let's say some point in front of the actor so we can also get actor forward vector and then let's multiply this with something like 50 which should give us a point in front of the character in 50 units and another one I'll multiply it with 50 maybe this is 100 and then i'll add this to just like this so this would be our starting point of the trace and this would be end point of the trace so what i'm doing now you when i enable debugging you will see how the tracing happens okay right oh, object types at the moment i am only interested in determining characters so right now here without worrying about anything else let me just call get nearby actors so we can see how the tracing happens So we are already in a multiplayer environment, but you can't see the other actor unless I play like this. Okay. But yeah, let me just play it in the editor. Let's for think about multiplayer part later. So the guy in the left is the other character. Here, if I do an attack. Oh wait, I forgot to give a radius here, see, that's why I didn't see a sphere. So let's say 50 is the radius. Now you should see. Yeah, so this is where the tracing happens. Now, since there are no actors here, 
tracing doesn't show any points but if I do like this still not detected see now you see a dot because the character is uh, identified by the trace you will see multiple dots because there are more than one contact points for single actor okay now I think 50 is not enough comparing the reach of the sword so maybe 80 would be better let's see yeah that seems more suitable okay now here now this here if we have any hits let's run now for each loop for this hits and then here let me break this now we can access the hit actor so I'll add a local variable near I'll call it hit actors and also I'll promote this radius as a parameter I'll give it as the default value so that for different uh, weapons with different reach we can use the same function by changing this parameter now here this should be in the type of factors and I turn this into an array oh wait I change this this one needs to be changed into an array then get the hit actors add unique the reason that I use add unique is because you saw previously I get multiple dots for the same character but still it's one actor that is near us so I only need one reference to that actor so after this part is complete I return um, this hit actors like this we'll call it here hit actor seems fine the name all right now here hit actors again for each loop we can hit actors okay we can get ability system component and then we can uh, try activate abilities by tag now as I said let me make gameplay tag container wait react sort all right now this will try to activate this hit react sort ability but in order to activate that we should have given this ability to the character and hit reaction is something that a character should have by default because from the beginning if a character get hits from a sword there should be a reaction so therefore let's implement something like this um, let me add a variable default abilities can play ability right now here oh wait we need to select the gameplay ability class class reference now here we can select this react but default abilities there should be there can be definitely more than one so I'll make it an array and let's add a function Q default abilities let's get the default abilities for each loop Q ability and we have the ability system here already okay now 
the character should show some reaction when I call this try activate abilities by tap. Okay, let's check. It didn't. Ah, oh, actually, I created the function, but I didn't call it anywhere. I should call it in the begin play. So, regardless of this part, I need to give the default abilities. So, give default abilities. Okay, now let's test. Still no. Okay, sorry again. I didn't add anything here. So, it react sort. Okay, let's try. Yeah, great, it's working. So, let's try from the client to serve as well. Yeah, it is working. Okay, so what's next? Ah, one more thing. Here, this animation. Let's enable root motion to this. And see if it looks better. It does sound. Well, actually, I had given the enable road motion for something, another animation, not the correct one. Now, let's see. So, when I do this, now see, characters so are actually pushing back. I have to move forward to continue hitting. Okay, great. So, yeah, I think think we are good to stop this episode right here so next time let's do how to actually do damage do blood work all those things and yeah thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye